Hello guys and welcome to a new Warno video today by me Vulcan. In this one I wanted to show off the first of two operations that have been added into the game in the latest update. Uh, operations are single player missions uh, that you can play out that have a sort of story to them. So today we're going to be doing Black Horse's Last Stand. So Black Horse's Last Stand. Folder was lost within a day. The 11th Black Horse Armoured Cavalry Regiment defended valiantly, but the full might of the Soviet 8th Guards Army proved too much for the American screening force. By mid-morning the next day, a bruised 111th ACR had fallen back through the Kinzig Valley to the small town of Bad Orb, pursued by the Soviet 39th Guards Motorized Division. It was here the squadron was ordered to block the quickest route to the critically important city of Frankfurt and the heart of the 5th Corps. Until the locus bu local Bundeswehr reinforcements could be mustered, the 111th was on their own. With limited ground and air support, Bad Orb had to be defended for as long as possible and against overwhelming odds. So we're going to be doing this on the hardest difficulty, the elite difficulty. Let's select it and we have more of a operational overview of what we need to do. So 22nd of June 1989. Commander, the Soviets are advancing on Frankfurt through the Kinzig Valley. Reorganize the scattered forces of the 111th ACR and make a, make a stand. We need to resist the enemy spearhead for as long as possible. So one, our intention is to fix the enemy near Bad Orb while assembling a counterattack force in the rear. To achieve this, defend against Soviet attack formations for a maximum duration of time. A. Redeploy your command unit Sabre 6 and establish an HQ in Bad Orb. B. Hold your ground. Retreat to Bad Orb only as a last resort. And C. Defend Bad Orb until reinforcements arrive. 3. The enemy Soviet 39th Guards Motorized Division is in the lead. So expect the latest T-80 main battle tanks, mechanized infantry with BMP support and helicopter gunships. Four, the forces available to you include the remaining units of the 111th ACR and an element of A-10 Thunderbolts, Wrath 1 and 2 to provide close air support and local West German reserves, the VKK-431, which will be joining me as soon as possible. Let's proceed to the mission. We'll get to see briefly what our units are going to be. So we have the A111th ACR units, which are some M1A1 Abrams, some Bradleys. Uh, we've got some engineers with dragons, uh, some scouts in here, stingers for AA, some PVADs, the Humvee AGL with the grenade launcher, that is. Then there's an M1901A3 ITV, which you can look at. I mean, you can look at all of these if you want to before you jump in. Uh, and there's also some BGS and some Jaegers, Sigilungs, uh, some 120 mil mortars and the 20 mils from the Germans. And our air support is Wrath 1 and 2, the A-10 Thunderbolts. Let's launch into the mission. Commander, the Soviet spearhead is almost upon us. We must quickly establish headquarters in Bad Orb. A command vehicle is in charge of establishing contact with the city. You must protect it at all costs. Only once in control of Bad Orb, you can deploy ground and air reinforcements. Reserves from the German Territorial Army are also on their way to Bad Orb to support us. You must delay the enemy offensive until they arrive. The enemy will engage you as soon as you deploy your troops. Expect heavy enemy armor, mechanized infantry, and helicopter support. Organize your defense as best you can, and most importantly, hold bad orb. Good luck, Commander. All right, here we are. So our job is to protect the command vehicle as it retreats to bad orb and sets us up with a connection. We have 650 points to begin with and we can choose from the remainder of the 111th ACR. So uh, let's see what we want to put down. So we're going to have to cover a reasonable amount of ground here, but the main thing is covering the roads. So there's this road, this road, and this road. Uh, the best way probably to do that is by defending here, or we can try and move further back, but this will be later on. So I do want some recon, so we will bring in 
an M3A1 Bradley. I'm also going to bring in an M1A1, have some decent firepower. We are going to need some AA, so I'm going to rely on the PVADs. Uh, we could potentially use a Stinger as well, but I think I'm going to do double PVADs to deal with helicopters. PVADs are actually pretty good at the moment, so I'm going to make good use of those. And we could also potentially bring in some engineers with dragons. We do have enough to bring in three squads. So that could be a good choice if I maybe put them in these buildings. The other thing is supply uh, to fix up the Abrams potentially. Uh, let's do a couple of supply vehicles. I'll bring in potentially the grenade launcher or maybe another Bradley. Maybe another Bradley is a good shout. Rather than doing infantry. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave the infantry so that we can bring it in at Alpha. Let's go ahead and launch the battle. And uh, we are under artillery fire. We need to redeploy to Bad Orb ASAP. Cover us. Going to keep these Bradleys together so that we can use their HGMs to kill enemy targets. Actually, I might need to leave one on the left hand side. This building is a little bit of a problem. Having some infantry there would have been nice. We do get reinforcements shortly, so 120 points per minute. That looks like helicopters coming in. Let's make sure we deal with those. MP2 down. MI24 down as well. There's another one on the left. Let's go take that out. Smoke from the attack coming in there. Very cool. My PVADS is actually damaged. Because these have a high veterancy, they're pretty effective at shooting these down. Wipes that other MI-24 out of the sky. I'm a little bit worried about enemy tanks, to be honest. We need to kill the BRM. That's actually going to be the big problem for us. Oh, I just took a side shot. to retreat and hopefully fix that up sooner than later. Another helicopter coming in. We can't bring in any reinforcements yet because we're waiting for the command vehicle to get back to the sector here. There are tanks moving down on the left flank, but they shouldn't be able to catch up with the command. If needs be, we can always bring in an A-10 at some point. Radio check. Red one six. Over. Although I'm going to need some recon to spot the units moving down on that left flank. But so far so good. Uh, let's just make sure this M1A1 holds the main road here. If I just let them go down the left road, that should be fine. This is Saber Six. The order came through. Okay, we there's our air support. At all costs, we can now call in A10. All right, let's get those A10s in, shall we? Do you need to spot the enemy units first? Uh, let's only bring in one unit there. We'll get the A10 out, ready to go. Move those PVADs back, just so they aren't the first thing that gets shot at. I really wish I had like a recon helicopter or something, that would be so handy right now. But our A-10 is now in on the field and we can have that destroy these tanks that potentially slip through on the left side. With this scout unit, we do get a Humvee that has recon capability as well, so... Let's unload the scouts. We'll have the Humvee drive forwards. 
and spot what we need. Another helicopter, so let's get the P-pads forwards. That far forwards. I'm going to put this on return fire so it doesn't use its 50 cal unnecessarily. I'm trying to figure out where these units went on the left side over here. Unless they went all the way down this left road. I'm going to bring in another scout unit. Ah, oh, there they are. Something. Brute the. Uh, DRM there. It looks like they spotted my Humvee, so they're hunting it down. Another helicopter taken out, though. Maybe the Humvee can spot this at the right time. There we go, that's the BRM dealt with, which is good, because that gets rid of the recon. There was a T-80 left in there. Bradleys and stuff doing very well at the moment. Any target? Roger. Right, here it comes. This Thunderbolt's got work to do. We lost line of sight. Where's? I can see us. Oh no! <laughs> I was like, oh, that range is not going to miss. <laughs> Alright, let's bring up another M1A1. And this is probably going to run out of fuel. I spotted it briefly. I'm going to move my engineers up. When it comes up that road, it looks like it's doing, we can shoot it. There we go. Nice. I might be able to get a quick attack onto the MI-8 as well. We do have some infrared AA. And we just ran out of time on that. Ran out of fuel. Nice kill on the BRM. Killing the BRM is so important. Getting rid of that early on means that the um, enemy can't see us at all. Also need to get rid of this MI-8. That's providing recon. <laughs> Very cool. We're doing really well. When that smoke clears, we'll get more recon information here if they start to push forwards again. Just hold in the line. Another M1A1 will be joining us shortly. I will need more supply. I could, in fact, sell these supply vehicles. You can now sell supply vehicles in Warnock, so definitely something I would recommend you make use of. My p pads are actually getting pretty low on ammo. That would be really bad if they were to run out <laughs> because these Bradleys would be very vulnerable to these helicopters that keep attacking. I'm going to keep my Abrams just down the slope a little bit. We'll pop it up if we need to, if any more tanks pop out in the open here. Oh, there goes a Bradley. Popped just like that. You get rid of the BRM again. 
Is that spawning us? Good. Alright, let's pop this up. Getting a second Abrams into here is important now. Oh, the Bradley almost died. The Bradley is actually really important as well. I'm going to get the second A-10 to come in. Where's my supply trucks? They might be here just in time. We'll get the engineers into the building. They have some cover. Having them out in the open is not a good idea. We now have the A-10 support as well. I'm going to move my scouts up on the side. Just in case. We killed a producer, so I think we can maybe go deep. For the enemy helicopter. With the thunderbolt. Perfect. Let's get these resupplied. That's going to drain these very fast. How long have we got? 20 seconds. 20 seconds left. Let's bring up an M1A1 leader so we get some extra veterancy here. I could also do with maybe an infantry recon. Although I brought in both my scouts back here, didn't I? Let's bring in the Humvee AGL then. Alright. Germans have arrived. That will bring me in the BGS, which is good. Let's make sure we take out the recon. The recon's got to go. Otherwise things get very difficult. Right, we can move the Bradley back forwards now as well. Oh, that's an enemy, eh? Pull away from that, boys. Nice, Bruce is dead. We'll smoke off the M1A1. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. We need to get to 2,500 conquest points. And by holding all of these... And not falling back at all. It's actually gone very, very quickly. I think I've only lost the Bradley. So far. So, we've done extremely well. Oh, I say that. My Abrams is going in the complete wrong direction. It's not good at all. All right, we did it. We held the line. Saber six out. M1A1 just survives. <laughs> GG. Operation success in 12 minutes 44 seconds. 5,090 kills, 145 losses. So, what did we lose in the end then? It was the Humvee with the 50 cal and the Bradley. That was it. Otherwise, that Abrams and Bradley combo did fine, fine work. And, and choosing the PVADs over the Stingers is definitely a better choice there because you run out of ammo a lot less quickly. Having the supply vehicles super important to be able to hold that forward position. A fun, quick mission. And that was one of the short missions. Uh, it said short on the operation, so... Yeah, only 12 minutes 44 seconds, but thanks to our leadership, the enemy forces suffered a significant setback. Your actions helped change the course of the conflict, and history books may mention your name in reference to this decisive battle. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Yeah,